Wow, this is a lot of money very fast. I'm also at 11,000% fortify, hence the, you know, 8.9 octillion. But with 700 transcendence coins in the bank, I can start getting some pretty fun upgrades. Oh yeah, like maxing out this entire row and increasing my AK to be stupidly strong a little bit. And then more Kiwis by car, that's handy. All right, eight kings on deck. This should be handy. Can I potion drop onto my king? I think that worked, probably. I don't know, I've got a lot of goop to pick up. Oh my gosh, I'm at 632. I've still got three more kings to come in. Go, get potion gooped again. Wow, that's, that's handy. 894? Yeah, transcend. Because with that, well, I can just get the third crown and then buy this faster AK because now I'm a couple bit off away from getting unlimited AK ammo, which seems fun. Wait, what is this? Hover peels to learn effects. Peel points XX. Does this let me spend my transcendence coins to upgrade my things? I've got 185, 30% chance to add a blue peel. So what does that do then? Oh no, I lost 10%. Oh man. But wait, what happens if I just keep adding them? And if I repeal, does that take all of them off? What a crazy gambling machine. Well, I guess now I know what happens whenever I've got <laughs> way too many transcendence points on my hands. I wonder now if I'd just be able to max out my regular archery and little potion guy, but I'm just so curious on what would happen if I could get an infinite AK. Look at just how fast that goes, and it can only get better. Sweet, sweet, delicious clicking profits. I really just need to keep upgrading my bag size because I click at such a rapid rate that even if it starts to go down, I just, I get more. I get more back immediately. It's crazy. I've got to be breaking at least 17 laws doing it this way. Oh yeah, and well, there's archery maxed out. So I can get a 540% security speed, meaning a 540% more coin increase. This is good. And no, I, I like this a whole lot actually. Yeah, thank you game. Just look at all these Kiwis out of me. <laughs> So funny. All right, more bag size. Look at him, get him, shoot him. I'm getting 56 trillion per click. Oh my gosh, it just goes so fast. Everything about it is overpowered and busted and that's why I like it so much. Also, it's kind of crazy. I've got 122 transcendence points again and I get kings at a very, very rapid rate. Look, there's one right there. How much do you drop me, little guy? Hopefully a lot. One way to find out here. Would you die already? Oh, I forgot I upgraded their essential powers. So now they last for like 15 seconds. And 141. Oh yeah, let me potion the castle too. I'm about to get a lot more more money because of that. Wow. Oh, you poor stupid idiot kings. I've been doing this run for seven minutes and I'm already making quintillions. Archery's kind of busted, huh? The only thing that would be better is whenever I upgrade this guy, he's got a 35% chance to spit me out a higher potion, which would be very, very much appreciated. All right, I'm at 183. Transcend. I am a little curious about trying out something different. Go, go quick. My kings are on a slight delay, meaning by upgrading all the tiny little weak things first, I can get a whole bunch bunch of little archery upgrades down and rush out four, five, six, that's six, seven kings on the screen at one time. <laughs> that just looks silly. It's fun, but it still looks silly. All right, give me all their goop. That doesn't sound right at all. Anyways, just spamming archery immediately off the jump is a pretty easy way to get this guy like 14 experience and a quick 48 kiwi coin transcendence darkness points, whatever they're called. Although, actually, I can probably get a lot more kings out. Yeah, there's three more at the later stage. I wonder if I'll be able to go up to 100 transcendence points within two minutes, because I think I can get a lot of upgrades done that way. I'm at 89, one last king, 105. Yeah, transcend. Now my AK has unlimited ammo. There it is. Meaning I can just hold this forever. Oh, look at the money roll in. This is good. This, yeah, this makes me happy inside. Go ahead. Let them have it, everybody. Yep. Almost at 50 million and I haven't clicked any upgrades. Perfect. Well done, everybody. Good work. All sorts of goodies this way. Yeah, this is just, it's better than any auto clicker out there. Nice. It's just so fast, so furious, so Vin Diesel, you might even say. I have no more suboptimal plays. I just make a whole lot of money and win. I think the scary part is my bag size is so huge because of this Kiwi's potion. And I just kind of shook it off. Actually, wait, another tier one, man. Put it on my Kiwi guy. That gives him 350% more efficiency. And now he's really just blowing up Kiwis. If you thought I was good at this game before, oh man. Oh yeah, I can probably also max out a lot of stuff now too. This is good. I'm liking this. Everything works out this way. Just continue to shoot that Kiwi in his face too. Yep. Thanks team. Look at their little uniform line of just constantly sprinting in to give me half a trillion dollars. 
Oh, another king. I didn't even realize that guy was coming out. Should I just make a little deal with the devil real quick? Here, 60% chance to get 10% more. Wow, I'm unlucky. Peel it. And then in about a span of five upgrades, I've got yet another king out on the field giving me 2.3 trillion. And then my castle's giving me 22 trillion per kiwi that runs inside. And my archery's maxed out. Meaning if I just put a piece of tape right here and left my computer on for like 48 trillion days, I could be the richest man alive, I think. Oh, sweet, sweet profit exploitation. How I love you. It's kind of a downside though whenever these kings come out because I'm making less money. I make more money whenever they actually run into the castle and absolutely touch down slam the bag. Probably on the king's head now that I think about it. I guess the good thing is I get those little transcendent points. Can you spew a tier two yet? I kind of want to see one. No? Alright, well that's going to go on the bag. Gosh, just a little act of playing is all it takes to earn a mass amount of transcendence points. Who'd have thought using one AK auto clicker to abuse a bunch of kiwis would be the most profitable thing one guy could do? Not me, but man I sure am glad I did it. Oh, hey, I have a new penance thing. Deliver gold instead of kiwis, and I lose 50% gold every 20 seconds. Well, now, doesn't that sound interesting? All right, new plan. Kill this guy just after a long little period here. You got him. Can I put a potion on him? Dang it. Transcend once, and then increase the amount of bag stuffer and security levels I start with. And let's give this a go. Come on, quickly now. Wait, I can't upgrade any of my other level guys? I can upgrade the bag though. Not like that matters because I can't upgrade my little tiny man. That's fine. I'm mass clicking these kings like crazy, which should be enough for me to all clicks also click security. Yes, go. Use it and abuse it. I'm about to lose half my gold. Oh no. More bag upgrades. That's making me, I think, a lot more money. Am I getting transcendence guys out of these? I hope. Keep it going. I'm not really sure how I could do this any faster, but now I have my archery target, so... Oh yeah, this this helps. I don't think it's that the coins get any less valuable. I think it's just that I lose my own personal collection of coins. Hence the fact that I just completed the trillions one and now I'm looking at quadrillions. It's getting a little difficult for me to tell if I'm actually making a difference or not. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm 0.10% of the way done with the second stage. I mean, I guess I could just do this until I eventually got there. We're doing it. I believe in us, team. I knew we could do it the whole time. Man, that's gonna be a long creep all the way to 10 quadrillion. Wait, can I get one of these guys still? Oh, I don't even think about adopting a Kiwi. To be fair, I don't really think that often anyways. Yeah, shoot him. Shoot his eyes out. Make him feel bad. I knew we could do it. It's crazy I don't have enough money to upgrade anything quite yet. Here, throw my potion on the castle. 150% efficiency. Now we're really picking up steam. Come on, we're almost past it. 50%, baby! Would it help if I potion my bad guys too? Oh my gosh. Yes, it would. Look at how fast it's going up now. Am I really making that much more money? The answer is yes. Oh, oh my gosh. 95, 6, 7, 8, and we're done. All right. Now I'm 0.01% of the way done with my next one. You know, sometimes I know when it's time to quit. Give me all of these upgrades, please. And max everything else out. You poor, poor, stupid king. If only you knew what fate awaited you. Death is the answer. So now I have a 100% little multiplier for this guy. I wonder if I can do the ranking of kiwings better now then. Let's try. I will be making a ton of money this way, I know that much. As long as I just keep shooting one king, we're good. You guys got him. I knew you could do it. I've always believed in you. I just want that to be said. Wait, I failed? Hang on. Try again. This time, all of my clicks click the king, no matter where I'm clicking. So what I'll do is I'll shoot all the kings, upgrade how much money I get off it, and then keep doing that. Here we go. Now we're making a profit somewhat. 95, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, I beat it. How you do that and what other way you do that, I could not tell you. But now it's a 110% increased gain. Now I want to transcend one more time, but this time I want to adopt my four kiwi. This way, this little guy just keeps going and going and going, but he's just gonna keep giving me a stacking multiplier onto everything. And man, do I mean everything. 9%, thank you. And is he close to evolving? Getting there. Max archery, thank you. Now I'm at the point since I can max out all my archery and just sit here with an even faster auto clicker than any computer can make themselves and just be able to farm up infinite money. I think what I wanna do then is get one more king out, which won't take long. Look at how fast that percentage is flying up. Go ahead, shoot him in his eye sockets. They're glowing white. They make perfect targets. Die, you stupid jerk, die. Ooh, more money. And he's so Oh, close. All right, I need one more king to come out, but that's fine, because again, they're coming out extremely quickly. Oh my gosh. I think the moment my little kiwi eats this guy is the moment that he levels up. Yeah, a 4% growth rate and multiplies my bag size. All right, I'll come back and check in on this guy in a couple days and we'll see where I'm at. Hopefully somewhere pretty fun.